Sig Sauer. P320 Compact. What makes this P320 Compact any different or any more special than any of the others? Well, let's find out. This one might be a little bit special. We have our normal paraphernalia. We've got our owner's manual. And we have, voila, the P320 Compact Two-Tone and the Flat Dark Earth. So we have the Nitron finish over stainless steel on the slide and on the grip or what I typically would call the frame flat dark earth I like the two-tone look um, actually like it quite a bit I like the two-tone look with the not just the difference in contrast with the slide and the frame but I like that the controls are in black so you've got your slide lock, your takedown lever, mag, disconnect, trigger of course, and even the magazine base plate sticking out at the bottom in black. I think is really a sharp look. There may not be a lot of flat dark earth or FDE out there for a long period of time, so this is kind of a grab it if you see it type of situation here. P320 comes with a polymer holster. And, which is nice, it's a paddle holster, also made. And here's something a little bit telling. If you see on the back, it's a, got the Sig Sauer branding, of course, but then it designates P250 full size and P250 compact. So, hmm, I wonder where this came from. Nice to know there's some interchangeability. And I also am, I also understand that the magazines are interchangeable too, so that's definitely a good thing. Still wearing its baby bracelet. And let's take that off. And we'll add it to our baby bracelet collection. All right. And now we can get a good look at the grip. It's a... Um, it's an interesting tone. You know, everybody's everybody's version of flat dark earth is a little bit different in terms of its hue and tone and so forth. This one is a little lighter than some. Um, and it's a little... Maybe a little greener, where some are a little more magenta. Um, but I like it. I, I kind of like the lightness of it. And I'll compare it to, actually... Let me do that right now, just to show you. What I mean, here's M&P VTAC and their version of Flat Dark Earth and then the Sig Sauer. So you can see, actually, it's kind of backwards, isn't it? Um, at least in this light, the way it's showing, the way the camera's picking it up, the Sig Sauer has got a little more magenta. It's almost like a skin tone type of Flat Dark Earth where this one, the M&P is a little more green, greenish yellow. If you have, If you're real fussy about the shade, of the flat dark earth it might benefit you to try and find one in person to look at but um you know i'll try and i try and give you as realistic a look at it as i can um but i haven't gone to the trouble to you know white balance my camera or any of that so <laughs> if this if this little tag looks white then this color should be close we'll see it we'll see it outside too we are definitely going to take it outside and put a hundred through it. So the P320, if you didn't know, is um, a polymer framed striker fired handgun from Sig Sauer. Certainly better known for their aluminum framed hammer fired handguns. So a bit of a departure for Sig um, and hopefully a bit of an improvement on the P250 design. Um, but this is uh, what really makes this an interesting handgun is that inside 
The actual serialized firearm is just an, an internal component. It's a, a stainless steel chassis, if you will, but it's actually what they kind of refer to as the frame. Um, the way to take this gun down, if you don't know, is relatively simple. We've got a takedown lever right here. Very minimal controls. Slide stop. We lock our slide back, take our magazine out, make sure the gun is empty, and then rotate this slide stop clockwise as far down as it'll go. In this case, it will go a little bit past vertical and then take the tension off our slide, let it come forward and right off. No need to pull the trigger. That was actually, I believe, one of the requirements that some of the law enforcement folks that SIG worked with said they did not want to have to pull the trigger to disassemble the pistol. So there you go. And this one has uh, that same sort of white um, white lubricant and preservative on it. And, uh, but what you see here at all the stainless steel that you see here between my thumb and forefinger, that is, that is the serialized firearm. And you can remove this and put it into a different frame, different size. Um, you can put a different slide on it that's chambered for a different caliber. So there's a lot of really cool opportunities down the road for this gun and it really could make it so that you've got one sort of one platform that could serve a lot of different purposes for you so um, it's going to be interesting to see as they produce more and more um, and as the various parts become available how that works now up in our slide we just have again kind of a normal looking um, striker fired slide but SIG puts their touch on it I mean it, it is all quality you can see that there's some over-engineering going on here. Um, dual recoil spring guide rod assembly. All right, so put it back together. You just put the slide on, lock it back, put that lever back counterclockwise to its horizontal position, and that's it. Function test. Wow. Now, I'm really looking forward to getting this thing out and, and really taking it out and shooting it because I've heard and seen nothing but good stuff about the trigger on this gun. And uh, some of the folks that I really respect, like uh, Beretta 9mm USA, have really bragged about this trigger. So, it better be all that, guys, or I'm coming to get you. Some of the basic specs on this gun, uh, if you haven't seen them or heard them as of yet. Oh, by the way, while we're, while we're at it and we've got this out, this is a Mechgar magazine made in Italy. 15 round. So 15 plus 1 is our capacity. Some of the basic specs are length overall is 7.2 inches, and a lot of that, I think, is you know this extra half inch or so of beaver tail sticking out the back. That's definitely, it definitely keeps it looking very SIG-like. The height of the pistol is 5.3 inches. So from the, from the sights to the bottom of the, the grip or the magwell, it's uh, almost 5.5 inches, 5.3 inches. So that's a relatively tall measurement right there. And the barrel is 3.9 inches, so just shy of 4 inches on our barrel. Sight radius is 5.8 inches, so it's a good respectable sight radius, you know, duty pistol type expectation. You know, usually something as close to six inches is what you're looking for there. These are not the night sights. These are just the three dot combat sights, the sights that they just call um, contrast six hour. But they're a good, good set of sights. They are steel sights. They are definitely very well designed. See them against my hand here. Very well designed for one handed charging against almost anything. This thing weighs, with an empty magazine, 26 ounces even. So it's not a very heavy pistol. Actually, fairly light. The slide is made out of stainless steel. It's coated with the sort of famous Sig Sauer Nitron finish, which I've found to be a very, very tough, durable finish, as well as just a really nice looking finish. That's a, it's a nice looking kind of a satin black it's not glossy, it's not dull. They really, they really found that nice middle ground with their nitron finish. 
the frame chassis or, you know, whatever you want to call it inside is stainless steel, but of course everything around it uh, on the bottom half of the pistol is polymer. And you can even see here it says compact medium. So this is the medium. There's a small, medium, and large. This one feels really good to my hand. Uh, it feels very natural. It really, it really just sort of sucks the, the web of your hand up into up underneath that beaver tail. Um, feels like a really natural grip. The grip panels, back strap, front strap area are all textured with something that feels very much like the E2 grips. If you're familiar with the E2 grips on the, the newer uh, SIGs, this is a very, very similar feel. This is a striker fired. It is classified as a double action only. So that is it. Um, there is no single action. There is no restrike capability. It's kind of your standard striker fired gun in that respect. Trigger pull is rated by SIG um, at a published five and a half to six and a half pounds. So they give themselves they give themselves a full pound uh, spread there. I'll put a gauge on it and see. Maybe um, before and after I shoot it, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I'll I'll put a put a trigger gauge on there and see what we're getting. But it feels really really nice. It's got just a little bit of take up, not much at all like less than a quarter of an inch and then what feels to me like a really really soft um, soft in terms of tension break that break feels feels light feels lighter than five and a half pounds but I'm sure it is every bit of five and a half probably more but it's really good it's it's very crisp and then reset is really short and there's no there's no take up on that reset. If you stop it right at the reset, you are right at the break. So we talked about 15 plus one is the capacity. Got your Picatinny rail out front in case you want to mount a light or something else. Um, you know, this is, you know, it's called the compact, but I, I still, you know, I kind of think of it more as a, almost a small duty size gun, really. Um, so one of the, um, one of the measurements that they don't publish for SIG is the width, uh, the width of the gun. And I think it's a little, feels to me a little wider than a, like a Glock 19. Um, but then you've got a really nice depress area right here for your, for your thumb. So that up in the uh, up in the important area right here, where your trigger reach is, feels really good. All right, so there she is coming out of the box. The P320 two tone, flat dark earth. Looks really sweet. Can't wait to get out and shoot it. Man, don't you love it when uh, firearms manufacturers produce the sort of one-off novelty, you know? Nothing really different except the way it looks, models. Such is the case here with the Sig Sauer P320 Compact in two-tone. It's a two-tone of the traditional nitron finish and flat dark earth. So normally I don't I don't always go in for the flat dark earth and you know two tones and different color schemes and things like that on on guns because you know obviously it doesn't add anything to the functionality of the firearm but uh, you know in this case um, I was really drawn to the way it looks um, now I was not adding a P320 compact to my collection so that makes a big difference too so when you're when you're going for the first one you might as well get something interesting if something interesting is available and uh, I really like the way they did the two-tone but this particular color scheme the combination of flat dark earth and nitron finish is available only in a very limited run from uh, an exclusive distributor so I have yet to shoot this gun 
That's why I'm out here at the range on a very blustery March day. In fact, probably a little bit of shake in the picture. If there is, please forgive me, but that's the camera blowing in the wind. So, <laughs> uh, despite my sturdy tripod, the camera is like shaking like a leaf. So, let's load this gun up and start putting some rounds down range. I'm going to start out with Freedom Munitions. Typical 115 grain ball ammo from Freedom Munitions. The SIG P320 boasts, or at least according to people I respect who have previously tested it, it boasts a really nice trigger. So I'm really looking forward to just getting a good feel for the trigger. I did some initial measurements um, on the trigger before bringing it out because I wanted to see, you know, what it was, and I wanted to see also if shooting it sometimes will loosen the loosen that up a little bit. Triggers can break in too, just like other moving parts. And it was uh, it was it was in the, the seven pound range. Um, I forget exactly now, but it was in the seven pound range. But it does not feel nearly that heavy. It's a very nice. Uh, trigger, very crisp and a very, very excellent tactile reset. Um, it's a short reset, which I like a lot. So, if I'm going to stand out here in the cold, in the wind, <laughs> I might as well be shooting. So let's get to it. Six Sauer P320, compact, two-tone, nitron, and flat dark earth. Let's take the very first shots. Hey, not bad, huh? How's that for the first 15 rounds? I think I see a couple there that may possibly not be touching the orange, but uh, I don't know. Awful close from here. I want to go again. This is uh, pretty incredible, pretty, pretty impressive gun. First two magazines, that was some sweet shooting. Um, I like this trigger a whole lot. Because the trigger is so nice and the reset is so short and so tactile, uh, so pronounced, you're allowed to just focus on the front sight and the target and not worry about where's my trigger. Um, and I find for me, that really helps me stay at you know with the business at hand which is putting those rounds where i want them and you could see that first 15 or actually first 30 rounds ate a pretty nice hole in the middle of that target let's load up and do some more here they come here they come here comes my ride
This six hour P320 is not kidding around. This is a serious, serious nice shooter. I love the feel of the grip, the ergonomics. Um, you know, it, it feels like most other SIGs. Um, also has a little bit of an M&P quality as far as the, the way the back strap feels, you know, that swell in the hand feels really, really good. Um, I love the simplicity of the controls. Uh, the takedown lever is a little big. <laughs> I don't know why they made it so big, but you know, it's not really bothering me. Um, I talked about um, when I first opened the box and was talking about the gun, I was talking about whether that would bother me. It really hasn't. I've, I've, uh, I've got almost 100 rounds through it now. I'm getting ready to put the last two magazines, uh, the last 20 rounds of PMC, by the way. This is PMC bronze. And um, it hasn't bothered me. Uh, the trigger is extremely good. I like this trigger a lot. I have a P226 Extreme Six Hour with the short reset trigger, and I would compare this trigger to that trigger um, very closely. Um, in fact, I may have to come out someday and do just that and make a, a good comparison. But um, this is a this is a serious world class trigger in this gun. Uh, make no mistake. The gun is accurate. Uh, it's this gun is more accurate than I'm able to shoot it. And on a really windy, blustery day with my target moving around, the wind literally blowing me sometimes while I'm in my shooting stance. Um, and I was able to to you know put a fist size group uh, in the middle of my target. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, so I'm thinking this is a keeper. I think there's a lot to like here. I think it's time to get busy putting some more rounds through it. Man, this thing is a sweet shooter. Getting ready to put the last 20 of a box from Freedom Munitions. Last 20 rounds, 10 in each mag. Let's take headshots. By the way, you know this gun comes with a polymer holster, right? Um, I also have found that the uh, six hour mag pouch for the P226 fits perfectly. So after the first 100 rounds, this SIG P320 Compact is absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, this gun is a natural pointer. It is a very sweet shooter. It's a softer shooter than I might have expected. Um, you know, even in 9mm, uh, you can have a little snap when you get into the 25, 24 ounce uh, pistol range. But this one shoots nice and flat. Beautiful sight picture. That SIG 3-dot sight picture is great. Um, extremely accurate. I mean, you know, that's, uh, I don't know how many rounds that is. I might try and count, but that's got to be, that's got to be at least 50 rounds right there. And, you know, it's smaller than my fist. Now, the headshots, I took a little, uh, I opened that up because I shot a little faster when I was shooting these headshots, but that's still, you know, as far as I know, I didn't miss paper with anything. Um, so that's good. But it's a, uh, it's really just a, a fun gun to shoot. It's a whole lot of fun. So where, where this gun might fall in terms of uh, its, its purpose is a little bit different um, to think about for me. It's, to me, this is a little bit too big for a carry gun. Um, so I don't know, you know, I know there are people definitely out there that'll carry these, but for me it's a little bigger than I would go to for a carry gun. 
for a home defense gun, absolutely. This this could be, you know, th this could be like a, the quintessential home defense gun. This is really nice. This is it's small enough and ergonomic enough and and sm you know soft enough shooter that pretty much anybody could handle it that needs to, which is important. Um, it, it's a natural pointer. It the controls are simple. Uh, again, it makes and reliable reliability is, is key so it could make an excellent home defense gun um, as far as a you know duty gun it's a little small there is a larger version of this as a duty gun uh, so it wouldn't be my first choice for that but and as a as a range gun um, as a match gun so a six hour p320 compact you will definitely you're going to be seeing and hearing more about this gun from me for sure um, I like the gun a lot. I just want to celebrate. What? No, it's because of the rare earth. Get it? Rare earth? What's that? Dark earth? Flat dark earth. Not rare earth. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs>